Actress Margaret Hamilton is a symbol in the film industry known for her significant impact. Her memorable performances have made her a respected figure. Whether you have a favorite memory of her work or think about what makes her special, Margaret Hamilton's influence is felt by people of all ages. Share your stories and experiences with this classic actor below. Stay tuned for more interesting facts about her journey in showbiz. Your stories and memories are welcome. In classic Hollywood movies, Margaret Hamilton is a notable figure worth celebrating. She played the Wicked Witch of the West in The Wizard of Oz, a role that many still remember. Beyond that movie, Hamilton did a lot in the entertainment world. She was great at acting and could play many different roles well. People liked watching her because she was so good at it. What makes Margaret Hamilton special is that her character in The Wizard of Oz is still famous today. Even though the movie is old, people still love it, and her character is a big reason why. To sum up, Margaret Hamilton's role as the Wicked Witch of the West in The Wizard of Oz makes her an important part of movie history. She was talented and made a lasting impression on audiences. Wheelock College in Boston, Massachusetts, known for its focus on working with children and families, saw the attendance of Margaret Hamilton. While there, she engaged in various productions at the Wheelock Family Theater. Her commitment to animal rights was evident as she frequently appeared in TV public service announcements advocating for the spaying and neutering of pets to reduce the population of homeless animals. She was often accompanied by her cat in these efforts, and she had a Dachshund named Otto. Interestingly, Margaret wore the same costume for two different productions, separated by 26 years. The dress she wore as Miss Gulch in The Wizard of Oz was later donned again when she played Grandma Frump in The Addams Family. Margaret Hamilton, famous for playing the Wicked Witch of the West in The Wizard of Oz, had a diverse life beyond acting. She actively supported charitable causes, notably the MS Rita Thon for multiple sclerosis research in her later years. Living in Connecticut, she engaged with local winners of children's contests, discussing the difference between her famous role and her real life self. In an interview with Fred Rogers on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, Margaret talked about her role as Miss Gulch in The Wizard of Oz. She shared her approach to portraying the Wicked Witch, describing the character as finding pleasure in her actions, but leading a solitary life consumed by unfulfilled desires. Wearing her original witch costume for the interview, she reassured children that witches were fictional characters, aiming to ease any fears they might have had. While filming The Wizard of Oz, Margaret faced a challenging experience. In one scene, the special effects malfunctioned, causing severe burns from her costume. Despite the ordeal, she persisted, and the imperfect first take made it to the final cut, noticeable from the premature appearance of red smoke. Margaret Hamilton's charitable efforts and candid reflections left a lasting impact that extended beyond her on-screen roles, highlighting her resilience and compassion. In her memorable role as Miss Gulch in The Wizard of Oz, she brought a chilling presence to the screen. Interestingly, Judy Garland, who played Dorothy, struggled to feel fear towards her off-camera. This difficulty arose because she was known for being a genuinely nice lady behind the scenes. Adding a personal touch to her life, she welcomed a son named Hamilton Wadsworth Meserve on June 12, 1936. Despite her on-screen persona as a menacing character, her real-life role as a mother reflected a softer side. Contrary to the sinister characters she portrayed in movies, she was described as charming, friendly, and funny by those who knew her. Referred to affectionately as Maggie, she earned admiration from both casts and crews. Her amiable nature, in stark contrast to her on-screen villains, showcased the versatility that defined her career. In the world of cinema villains, she stood out not only for her acting skills, but also for the stark difference between her real and real personas. Her ability to switch between the menacing Miss Gulch and the amiable Maggie off-camera left a lasting impression on those who worked with her. Margaret Hamilton wasn't just an actress. She also served on the Beverly Hills Board of Education. During her time there, she helped make decisions about schools. One of her famous parts was playing Miss Gulch in The Wizard of Oz. Judy Garland, who acted with her, thought she did a great job. Later, Margaret Hamilton was on Sesame Street in 1976. She acted as the Wicked Witch of the West, which she was famous for. But many kids got scared when they saw her. Their parents wrote letters to the people who made the show, saying their kids were scared. So, they never showed the episode again. No one has found a video of it online yet. But there's a picture of the witch next to Oscar in his trash can. We don't know if the episode still exists. People still remember Margaret Hamilton for her work in schools and her acting roles. Born in 1902s. Hamilton was a charming figure who won the hearts of audiences with her talent and versatility. 
Being 18 years younger than Billy Burke, she had a youthful energy. Yes. Hamilton loved the Oz books and was excited when her agent confirmed her role as the iconic witch in The Wizard of Oz. In The Night Strangler, she showed her acting skills by playing Professor Crabwell, leaving a lasting impression on the screen. Alongside Scott Brady, they formed a memorable partnership, making audiences around the world enjoy their on-screen chemistry. Sadly, fate was unkind, and both Miss Hamilton and Scott Brady passed away within a month of each other in 1985. Scott Brady's final bow was on April 16th, followed by Miss Hamilton's departure on May 16th. Their deaths marked the end of an era, leaving behind a lasting impact that continues to inspire and enchant future generations. In the movie, The Wizard of Oz, Margaret Hamilton played multiple roles, including Miss Gulch in both Witches, West, and East. She later went on the show Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood to talk about her roles. She wanted to show that witches, like her characters, were just people dressing up and pretending. However, even after her efforts, kids still got scared of her. When they saw her on the street, they'd run away screaming. Hamilton got badly burned during filming and had to endure a lot of pain when they removed her green makeup with acetone. Despite trying to change people's perceptions, she couldn't shake off the fear her roles instilled. You can find her interview with Mr. Rogers on YouTube. Margaret Hamilton played Mrs. Jackson in The Invisible Woman. You may remember her better as Miss Gulch in The Wicked Witch of the West and The Wizard of Oz. There's a scene in The Wizard of Oz where Frank Morgan, who plays the wizard, gives gifts to Dorothy's friends. When Margaret Hamilton watched it, she got teary-eyed because Morgan was just like that in real life very generous. In Brewster McLeod, all the main actors show up in the Houston Astrodome as circus performers, except Margaret Hamilton. There's someone in her costume, but their face is hidden by an American flag. It suggests she might not have been available for that scene. That's the thing about actors, sometimes they can't make every scene. She began acting as an old Englishman in Palmander Walk at Hathaway Brown High School for Girls. This was an important moment that marked the start of her amazing journey. Her singing teacher, Grace Probert, encouraged her to pursue acting despite her father's objections. She became well known for her performances on stage, impressing both audiences and critics. Acting became her passion, and she faced both successes and difficulties along the way. Eventually, she became a famous figure in the entertainment industry. Later in life, she chose to be cremated, and her ashes were placed on her estate in Dutchess County, New York. This honored her memory in a peaceful way. Her life story is detailed in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, Volume 1, 1981-1985. These pages tell the story of her life and how she influenced others. Her story is a reminder of the power of following your dreams despite challenges. She broke barriers and inspired future generations. Her biography shows how people can overcome difficulties and leave a lasting impact on the world.